I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See what about them? See who's doing it. Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. Hey there guys, uh, Zeke the Geek here and I just got out of seeing the brand new uh, Martin Scorsese film Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, this is a movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, uh, Lily Gladstone, uh, Jesse Plemons, uh, Brendan Fraser even makes an appearance in this film. Um, doesn't really have much to do in the film, but he's, he's there. Um, and look, it, it, this movie has gotten great reviews from everybody. Um, and I... Uh, count me as someone who loved it. It's it's a fantastic film. You know, definitely deserves all the praise it's getting. You know, it's Martin Scorsese at his. You know, I mean the the man is. You know, just continues to make great movies despite his age. You know, he's just continuing to put out really excellent work. Um, and Killers of the Flower Moon is one of them. Um, I have my issues with the film. Um, I my main issue is the. The, the movie's way too long. Um, I personally believe a good 20 minutes could have been um, sl sliced off the film, and uh, um, and I think it would have been it would have had a much better pacing to the film because um, there are times during this movie where you can certainly feel it, where you're kind of sitting there going, "Okay, uh, okay, yeah, let's let's go, let's go," especially in the right in the middle of the movie. There's a good chunk of the middle of this movie where the pacing really does slow down um but you know um I mean other than that I mean yeah I mean the, the movie the movie's great I mean the performances are great Leonardo DiCaprio is fantastic uh De Niro is great but um Lily Gladstone uh, I believe I, I believe that's her I believe that's her name. Who um, she is? Like oh my gosh! Like just what what Scorsese pulled out of her is something just truly like I. She is the emotional pull of this movie, and and there's a lot of scenes with her. Where you are kind of sitting there going, "Oh my gosh," and I got and I will say this: the movie, in a way, for me, felt a lot like um, Schindler's List, where it's just so hard to watch. It's this is not an easy movie to watch. You know, you're not gonna sit there with a bucket of popcorn and just start throwing popcorn in your face and be like, "Oh yeah, this is really entertaining." This is a very hard movie to watch. Very difficult movie to watch, um, and. It's devastating, um, and it's a movie that I don't know if I could ever bring myself to watch it again, you know, because of that fact, because it's, it's, it's like, you're not walking out smiling after this movie, you know, <laughs> like, like even I'm still having a difficult time processing just like what I just saw, because there's some truly horrendous things that happen um, within the story that I don't want to get into because uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, there's some truly horrendous things that happen, and it it's like it again. It it's like it's emotionally draining at times, you know. So, um, but like I mean. You know, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it is, again, Martin Scorsese 
at it, you know, doing his best work, you know. Um, uh, I think, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to process what I'm about to say next. Um, I think, the, I think it's a movie that definitely deserves to be seen, and I think, I think you should see it on the biggest screen you can because it was it was phenomenal i went to an imax theater to go see it tonight and it's phenomenal it's it it definitely is a theatrical it definitely is made for the theatrical experience um but i can also see anybody wanting to say uh ah, i'll wait till i'll wait till it hits apple tv um because a movie this long yeah, you, you, it, it, it's definitely, um, I can see why some people would want to just wait till it comes on the Apple TV, but, uh, but yeah, uh, that's, those are my thoughts on Killers of the Flower Moon, I really enjoyed it, um, I would say it is gonna probably end up in my top 10 of the year, um, and, um, yeah, I and mean, once again, Martin Scorsese has, has really, really done it again, and, uh, uh, performances are great, cinematography, the music's fantastic, so, um, yeah, it, it's a really great movie, all the, it's a really great movie, um, just not a movie that I could probably bring myself to watch again, but, um, that will do it for my, for this Out of the Theater Reaction, guys, I uh, look forward to more videos and, uh, more episodes of the Zeke Said so Show very, very soon, um, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, peace out.